So today I'm here to show you how to use particles inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So I decided to create this video because it's something that will improve your video qualities. You can create a lot of things with uh, particles. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you some uh, things that you can create. So let's go. So here we are inside of the edit page of DaVinci Resolve and I already have here in my timeline uh, three Sample. So this one is a simple rocket engine one, the red one, or the SpaceX. And this is the same, but with the, a different color. So as you can see in space. And now this one is a simple fireplace with some fake fire created with uh, particles. So let's create something like this. So let's start with the rocket. So let me come over here. Let me add, I already have here a fusion composition that I created called rocket. So I'm going to add it to here, but it's an empty one. So let's go into the fusion and it's only as our media out. So let's add our nodes. So let's start with the particle emitter. This is the first node. This is the node that will generate the particles. This one is the directional force. So this one is the one that will move the particles to one side or to the other, so to, to a specific direction. And this one is the P render. So this one will render as the, in 3D, you have to use the render node, the 3D render. Here, you have to also use the render. In this case, it's the P render. And let's connect our P render to our media out. And if you go to the particle emitter, you don't see anything, but if we zoom in, you can notice that we start to see some particles in here. So here are the controls that we have for our particle emitter. So we have the controls, we have the set, the style, the region, and here the settings. Let's start with the region. So as you can see, the region is a sphere. So that's why you see this one, but you can Use a bezier, a bitmap, a cube, a line, a mesh, a rectangle, or the sphere. In this case, I'm going to select the bitmap. And as soon as I select the bitmap, you notice that this will appear. Now I'm going to use here a polygon tool to create the area or the origin of the um, particle emitter. So I'm going to draw here a triangle. Let me see. So this is going to be here, over here, and let's close it. So let's zoom in. I'm going to put it somewhere around something like this. So I'm going to create some kind of a triangle. Let me adjust here this one and this one, and I'm going to put it down. So now, the particles are gonna born inside of this area. So this is the, the area that gonna start the origin of our particles. Let's zoom out a little bit. So now let's come to the particle emitter again and let's go to the controls over here. Let's increase the number of particles. This is the number of particles over here you still don't see because they are very tiny. So let's go to the style. Instead of point, I'm going to use blob and I'm going to add some noise and I'm coming here to the size controls and I'm going to increase and immediately start to see that, but it's also small. So let's put it two. So now we have it like this. And if we start, you notice that they start to move like this. So let, as you can see, it's too big. So let's come here to the controls again. And here in the lifespan, it's let's, if we reduce it, you can adjust the, the lifespan of the particles. Now let's come here, the number variance, and let's increase that because we want to add this more, not that uh, consistent. We have some variance over here and lifespan variance also. Let's increase it like that. Let me resize it a little bit. 
So we have this, so starting like this. Now let's come here to the velocity. And in here, I want to change this angle. Let's come here to the P directional force. And as you can see, it's minus 90, so it's down. So in the particle emitter in here, in the velocity, I'm gonna add the angle, sorry, minus 90. So it's consistent with that. And now we can increase or decrease our velocity and velocity var variance. So we can do something like this, look. And now let's change the color. So let's go to the style again, here, color control. So this is the base color. So in the base color one is something like red. And now come here to the color over life uh, controls. And we have this uh, line here. So let's select this triangle over here. Let's come here, let's pick color. And I wanna use this one, the same over here, go to the end, as you can see immediately, it appears a plus over there in the our uh, mouse. Let's select this one. And over here, I want it to be dark. And let's add one in the middle. And in the middle, I want something real bright like this. Probably this one, I'm gonna change it to a little bit more like this. So now, as you can see, it starts bright and it's uh, becoming red and darker. If you can come here and change that also. So now let's add a uh, here some size variance also. Let me see how it is. Now let's come here to the fade controls. Let me add a little bit fade in the beginning and some fade in the end. And here in the merge control, let's add some blur over here. And in here, in the size over life, I'm gonna move it a little up. I'm gonna this one, something like it. And the end, do the same. And you can, of course, adjust here the curves, just here the, this handle. Now we can add it a little bit like this. And now we have it like this. Let's increase a little bit of the size to 0.5. And let's go to the region. Let's come here to this one. And let's uh, increase this a little bit. So I want to put this and I'm going to put it a little bit up. So we have more time. Now I'm going to come here to the add another polygon tool over here. Select it. We don't want to uh, connect it now. We're going to connect it after. Now I'm going to zoom this a little bit and I'm going to create something over here like this, like this, like this. And I'm going to come down over here like this, like this. And I'm going to close it over here. Over here, I'm going to, I'm going to select this one, do it like this, do the same with this one over here do it like this, do it like this, this one, and I'm going to here to the soft edge and increase the softness a little bit. And now I want to connect it to here. And if you come here, let's go to the soft edge. It's too much. So I wanted something like this. Now you can notice that it's only showing inside of that. So this is one way of creating the rocket. Of course, you have to adjust all this, the settings and refine all the parameters to have a better rocket so you can 
come to the controls and refine the number, all of this, and the style adjust everything in here. But if you go to the edit page now, we have something over here, of course. I think you can, let's go here and let's go to the P emitter controls. Let's put it like a 200. Now we have a lot more over here and we can come here to the P render and add a little bit of blur and some glow. And now you can see that it's a little bit better. So we have all of this. So now let's come here and let's, let me delete this one and let's create our fireplace. So I'm going to come here. Let me zoom the fireplace, something like this. Let's put it like this. Now let's go to the fusion page. We have our media in and our media out. Do exactly the same, put here these nodes. And after the direction, I'm going to use the turbul turbulence. So this P turbulence that will give some shakiness to the flame. And after that, we're going to add here the render and do exactly the same over here. Now we come over here. We have the particle emitter. Let's go to the region. Let's change it to bitmap. Let's come here. Let's me zoom in. Let's add our polygon tool and let's define the starting area. So I want the starting area to be something like this. And let's close it. Of course, you can adjust all here, the, everything over here, but let's continue. Let's come here to the particle emitter. Let's go to the style. Let's change it to blob. Let's come here to the size and put it to two. Let's come here to the controls. Let's change the number over here to 200. Let's go to the directional force and change it, invert it because it's minus 90. I wanted 90 to be up. And now you notice that we have all of this and I don't want that. So I want it to stop over here. So to correct that, you just gonna add here this rectangle mask and I wanna put the mask somewhere around here and the height and a little bit of the width and it's done. So now we only have the fire inside of the fireplace. So now let's come to the particle emitter. Let's go to the style. Let's add some variance scale. Can do it here exactly the same. Add it a little bit over here and a little bit over there. Let's go to the control color. So here I want it to be reddish like this one. Let's do the same over here. This one, big color. This one, like this. Go to the end. Dark. And here in the middle, I want a reddish like this one. And I'm going to come here to this one. I'm going to come to the alpha and a little bit reduce the alpha of this one. This one a little bit less and this one also. And you can add more like this and do it something like this. Let's go again to the part here to the lifespan. Let's reduce the lifespan a lot. So it will build something like a little bit less, something like this. So we have our fire over here. And now we can go to the turbulence and we can add some turbulence in the X, the Y, and in the Z. So now we can see that our fire is more realistic. Of course, you can you can do a lot. You can adjust and here increase a little bit of the density. So we have our fire over here. 
and you can adjust the velocity. So in the angle, let's put it to 90. Let's think everything over here is the same position variance. You can adjust balls. So now we have our fire like this one. Let's go to the style. Let's move our black a little bit over here. We can come here to the merge, add a little bit of blur, the fade, do the same a little bit in the beginning and a little bit over here let's see like this this too much side everything is okay so now we have our fire over here and of course you can add more color more effects everything but as you can see you can create multiple effects or multiple things using the particles emitter and of course you can use this with letters with the uh, images with a lot of things so you have a lot of options that you can use so as you could see it's easy and you can do a lot of things with the particles and of course you can do a lot more and if you have any doubts any questions just leave them down below that i will have the pleasure to answer to you so i hope the, that you enjoyed and that you learned something today and if yes don't forget hit that like button that helps a lot subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time i launch a video until there bye